hello there welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here make sure to hit that subscribe button click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our new upcoming videos today we are going to talk about a very important topic for anyone running an african folktale channel on youtube we'll be talking about top 10 mistakes that can get your channel demonetized so let's dive right into it number one copyright violation this is one of the most common reasons channels get demonetized using copyrighted music images video clips without permission can lead to serious consequences for instance if you add a popular song to the background of your folktale video without obtaining the rights you could receive a copyright strike always make sure to use free music get proper license for any copyrighted material so i advise you you to use music from youtube studio library so this is a this is a free music that you can get without um getting a copyright strike and when it comes to images make sure that you, you don't go on someone's account and uh, screenshot someone's pictures and use those pictures um you surely get a copyright strike do not go on someone's account and a video or a screen video record someone's uh, video for you to edit in your video avoid all those mistakes if you want to be monetized in future and one thing i have seen i've seen people using other people's music like music from uh, movies guys when it comes to that time when you want to be monetized you will face a, a very terrible experience so let's avoid that now Number two, hate speech and offensive content. YouTube has zero tolerance for content that promotes violence or hatred against individuals or groups based on attributes like race, religion, or gender. So when telling your folk tale stories, be mindful of the language you use. Avoid any modern interpretations that could be seen as discriminatory or offensive number three sharing false misinformation or misinformation sharing false information especially on sensitive topics it can lead to demonetization it is crucial to verify the authentic of the folk tales you share and ensure that the information you present is accurate this not only helps you to maintain your credit credibility but also keeps you in line with youtube policy so i advise you when you get your story from chat gpt please do copy and paste it in microsoft word so that you can have enough time to edit it especially the names otherwise you will end up having similar stories with the other um, folk tales uh, content creators number four inappropriate language and themes using inappropriate language and themes can also hurt your channel content with vocal languages or mature themes might not be suitable for all audience and could affect your monetization and to tell your folk tales in a way that is friendly and suitable for viewers of all ages and i'll advise you also to please just use your own voice when you tell these uh, stories um, um, I know some people are using AI voice uh, uh, or nose or something like that but I advise you to use your own voice because when it comes to monetization they might ask you to appeal and you'll be required to send a, 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 an audio of your own voice so uh, just for you to be on a safe side please do use your own voice to tell these stories Five, violating community guidelines um, violating YouTube's community guidelines is another sure way to get demonetized. Those guidelines cover a wide range of topics including violence, harmful and dangerous contents. Make sure you are familiar with those rules and avoid any interpretation of folk tales that might un unintentionally break them. So you can actually just go through the guidelines as a content creator, um, go through these guidelines and make sure that you understand what you, what is required from you and what is not required from you as a content creator if you want to make it in, um, if you want to make it on YouTube as a folktale channel content creator. Number six is misleading metadata. This includes using deceptive titles, tags, 
or descriptions to attract viewers not only is this against youtube's policies but it can also lead to a poor viewing experience for example if you are you title your video top 10 african folk tales but only talking about one story viewers will feel misled and might not return to your channel so just watch out on that you might think that you are making a decision to grow your channel but it's actually just to put your channel down down. so let's take um, these things very serious because they can actually affect our channels or the growth of our channels seven content duplications so this refers to practice of copying or repeating content from one one source or presenting it as one's own either in part or in form this can occur across various platforms including websites social media video sharing platforms like youtube in the context in the context of youtube content duplication can involve re-uploading videos from other creators without changes and this can demonetize your video so make sure that you create your own animation or visual um, styles make sure that you provide enough interpretation or perspectives on traditional folk tales make sure that um, if you're using parts of existing videos add meaningful commentary or analysis or, or, or educational content that transforms the original material so just make sure that you don't copy someone's work and make it your own without any change um, otherwise you will be demonetized number eight clickbait and uh, sensationalism so creating overall clickbait content can reduce viewers trust and lead to penalties while it's important to make your titles or thumbnails engaging they should also accurately reflect the content of your videos for example instead of using thumbnail that um, exaggerates the photos themes use one that captures the sense of the story so you need to make sure that your thumbnail is um clear to everyone because your thumbnails is the one that motivates people to click on your video so if it's a uh, not clear people are not going to click on that video to watch a show so make sure that you work on your thumbnails if you really want more viewers for you number nine in consistent content quality so poor video and audio quality can affect the views engagement and um aid or add aid suitability invest in good lighting microphones to improve your production quality and also highlight um high quality i mean high quality content not only attracts more viewers but also makes your channel more appealing to advertisers so make sure that your quality of videos are good so that uh, more um advertisers can also be attracted to work with you so yeah just make sure that you work on your audio your video quality and then surely you will get more viewers ignoring viewer feedback very important so ignoring viewer feedback can harm your channel's reputation to with monetization engage with your audience by responding to comments and considering the suggestions this helps build a community and ensure that your content meets the expectation of your viewers so if your viewers are suggesting that you should make a certain video please do make that certain video because they are your customers so you should meet your customers demand and um that's the end of the video guys i wish you all the best thank you so much for watching until this time can you do something subscribe like and share the video and uh, see you in the next video Ta -ta!